Before you start positioning your cue under your dominant eye, have a look at this video first because there's a lot that could go wrong. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, then it's fantastic to have you here. Believe it or not, most of the people watching this video will have two human eyes. If you had to make a choice though, which one would you look out of? Well, your body does this automatically, and we call this your dominant eye. For right-handed people, this is usually their right eye, and for left-handed people, this is usually their left eye. Although this isn't always the case, but this can be incredibly important for things like shooting. If you want to find your dominant eye, then stare at something really far away, and put your hands in a triangle like this, as demonstrated by Venom Cannon 13. Bring your hands close to your face, and you'll automatically bring the triangle towards your dominant eye. This is great for shooting, but the only thing I've ever wanted to shoot is a cat if it gets on my table. Hang on. Yeah, must have missed. With a gun or a bow and arrow, you always use your dominant eye to shoot. How this affects cue sports is you want the point on the object ball you're aiming for, for example here, on this red, to be the same as where the cue ball hits. Here again, for example. But for a lot of people, they'll be aiming for here. And we'll hit the red dead straight. And a lot of people think they can just correct this by doing the same as shooting and positioning the cue under the dominant eye, and this just simply doesn't work for a number of reasons. To start off with, you don't just use one eye in snooker, you use both. And positioning the cue near your dominant eye has nothing to do with lining the shot up straight. What's worse, it can throw your whole technique out and give you issues like having a stiff neck or a bad back, for example, simply because your cue's in an awkward place. So if you're not sure where you should be positioning your chin on your cue, then do this. Line up a shot absolutely dead straight and then try to play it as straight as you can. Then keep doing this until you hit every single shot perfectly straight. Give it as many goes as you want to, but make sure every shot you're hitting it exactly dead straight because you don't want to move on to the next stage until you can comfortably do this every time. And don't worry because it's a great practice and it'll improve your technique. And if you want specific help with your own technique, then try our video Snooker Channel. It explains how this channel can directly help you. The video's in the card right now and on the Break From Life channel page and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing. Now you're confident playing the shot straight every time, we can look at where you position your cue because there's a very good chance you've placed your head on the cue in the correct place already. So to check, once you've lined up the shot every single time and you're playing exactly straight, you can do this. You can line up the same shot again and make sure you're hitting exactly straight and just move your head side to side a little tiny bit until it looks like you're hitting the red absolutely smack in the middle. And for there, for me, I think that's exactly there. And then once you've done this, you can test it by playing the shot and seeing if it goes exactly where you think it's going to. Remember, if it feels uncomfortable, it's almost definitely wrong. And of course, this will only work if you're striking the cue ball exactly in the center. So if you want to learn how to make this little thing I've got on the end of my cue right now that will show you how to play the shot, absolutely dead in the center of the cue ball every time then try our video hit the center of the cue ball and if you want to know about our snooker aiming system then try our video snooker aiming system and remember don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website see you later